Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today I'm making this tutorial of installing ROS2 on the uh, latest uh, ARM M1 Mac. So all you need to do is first to go to the Parallels desktop uh, and then install this Parallels software. Uh, you can purchase it or you can just download a free trial. All right, so first you go to the file uh, and then click new to create a new virtual machine. So as you can see, this is the latest uh, parallel desktop version uh, and it supports the M1 chip. And you can find the information here to basically describe how it works. Um, but just click continue. And parallel actually make it very easy for us so that we don't actually need to manually download all these uh, ISO files from uh, four different distributions. Uh, we have uh, the regular Ubuntu here and the Fedora, uh, Debian's, as well as uh, Kali Linux for those who are interested in security testing. So for our purposes, we just uh, go to the default Ubuntu Linux. So click this and then hit continue. Uh, so Parallels will basically download this uh, distribution for us uh, so that we don't need to worry about uh, importing it. So click download and just wait patiently uh, for the download to finish. Okay, now we have finished downloading it and uh, Parallels will take over and now we just select Ubuntu. It will go through everything just like a regular Linux distribution. And now since it's the first time startup, we have to enter our password. And just retype it to confirm. Okay, so the Parallels will install a bunch of uh, software for us in the Ubuntu. So just give it the root access and just wait patiently. And meanwhile, let's just finish up the setting up the Ubuntu. So no, I don't want to send system info. Uh, I don't want to enable location service and uh, now we just need to wait for this part. So essentially we'll install all these uh, software for you to share files between the Mac OS systems and the, the Linux systems. And they ask us to restart uh, the Linux and let's just click yes. Okay, enter the password. Okay, so the next step is that let's click uh, Firefox to just make sure the browser actually work. Yep, the internet is working. Uh, so before we do anything else, I would suggest to uh, do sudo apt update. to basically upgrade all the existing package. sudo upgrade and click yes. It's gonna take a little bit longer since it's the first time we upgrade the system. All right, uh, and another software I would suggest to install is called Terminator. So essentially it helps, it can help us to make multiple windows at the same time uh, without relying on the, the original terminal. So let's search Terminator and we can add it as our favorite. Okay, so this is our terminal now. And the next step is quite straightforward. We just go to the, uh, the ROS2 installation page. So we can go to Google first, search ROS2 Foxy. Okay, 
so the next step is just install ROS2. Um, basically, just follow through the instruction on the page. Click yes. Okay, so the next step is we have to download the actual ROS2 from the release page. And uh, the tutorial is basically showing the, the x86-64 uh, architectures, which is not what we have here because we have the ARM version of the Ubuntu 20.04. So when we select the distribution, we have to be a little bit careful. So go to the Foxy. Uh, click assets and make sure you select the ARM64 version right here. <clears throat> and just wait for you to finish downloading file and meanwhile we can uh, start creating the directory uh, as is shown over here okay so the ROS2 has downloaded it into our downloads folder uh, we have to use the following command to uncompress it because we don't have the same name as it's shown in the instruction so what i suggest is use tab completion to uh, get the file name for us and then click enter it's gonna take a little by a little while because uh, the file is quite large okay finally it's done Let's just continue our installation process. Okay, once we have this uh, installation finished, uh, we need to install the Python 3 libraries. Okay, so the ROS2 has installed on our machine, uh, in the virtual machines. Uh, let's test out if it actually works. So we can split the terminal first and then activate our environment using the following command. We need to do it for both window. And for the first window, we will run uh, the demo node called the talker. Essentially, we'll broadcast all the message uh, that is written from a C++ file. It's gonna show hello world one, hello world two, and three. And in this terminal, we we'll run the listener essentially to capture the message sent by our talker. As you can see, they actually received all the messages so that our installation is successful. Thanks for watching and I hope uh, see you next time.